Hey everybody, this is the dude representing MGTOW is the only way to live. The date is March 1st, 2017 at 12 midnight Pacific Mountain Eastern Standard Daylight Savings Time in the year of our Lord, my friend. That's the timestamp. That's how, that's how, that's the way, that's the game we're playing. <laughs> that's how we roll. <laughs> so I don't know. I just thought of a story that uh, I wanted to share with you guys about the complete, mm, I was a badass back then, but the trust I had for women and the simping around it and the white knighting around it. Now I have to change some locations around to protect my identity and where I'm from. So let's just say it's the middle of winter and it's, a nor it's in a northern climate. So I'm driving across two states, okay? Actually it was six states, but I drove, I picked up a hitchhiker in the middle of February in a northern climate with snow freezing out. Um, because I had to make a trip across the quote unquote country because I wanted to keep this van that I accumulated at a job out on the west coast. I wanted to keep, I didn't want to fly home six, six uh, states over so I made my way, I drove this piece of shit van that I wanted to keep. I was 27 at the time, 28 actually. Going, I was going to be 29 in June, but I come from a very, very, um, I was very protected. I was very, very protected by my mother growing up, so I was a late bloomer in terms of maturity and stuff like that, so I was naive, okay? So this is why I wanted to keep this van, and by the way, a little sidetrack again, I was never allowed to drive as a teenager because my, my mother was very, very, very um, protective of me. She didn't want me to die in a car accident. So I only started driving around the age of 27. And the way I got my license was I, I rented a car through the front desk at a hotel I worked, kept it for three, three weeks, taught myself to drive by asking people for driving lessons. And then I eventually got my license um, in California, but it was a temporary license and it was just a whole mess. And anyways, so I'm driving across two two states to get back to my home, and it's freezing out, and I'm starting to drift. To, I'm starting. I'm, I'm realizing the whole trip cost me seven dollars in gas, seven hundred dollars in gasoline, back in two thousand two, around that, and I think I had like a thousand bucks to my name when I left one location. I got home. I was broke. Now, so I become I became aware very very quickly that I that I needed a, uh, at least a second driver or somebody to occupy me, and so I wouldn't fall asleep. So I picked up this hitchhiking girl in in one in one state. We'll we'll say it's uh, Seattle, okay, just for good measure, Seattle, Washington. So I drove this person, this really cute girl that I picked up hitchhiking, across two provinces. She had no money, and I picked her up in the middle of a blizzard snowstorm. Now I picked her, and I and I, I spent two days with the girl, okay. I I bought her meals and. Because she had no money, and I actually drove her to her house. I dropped her off at her house in the, in the two two states over. Okay, now, and I I had good rapport. I thought everything was nice. It was really pleasant. Just nice conversations. Total gentleman. Never fucking tried to anything on her. Just doing a good deed. And I needed a travel buddy so I wouldn't fall asleep at the wheel. Okay, remember, I, like I said, I bought meals. I spent probably fucking thirty forty bucks on her. You know, drove her right to her place. She was in trouble. She was about 19. Now, I drop her to her place, and then I, I make my way back onto the, uh, you know, the highways, whatever. And I don't know this area. I don't know how I got there. I don't know how to get back there, okay? So, a couple hours, you know, driving, I, I for some reason, I, fuck, where's my wallet? I, I gotta check my wallet, okay? And I shit you not, okay, guys? The bitch stole my fucking wallet. Everything but the money in my pocket I had. I had to call my brother to come and bail me out a few hours later. He had to drive, like, across the fucking state to come and bail me out, okay? The bitch stole my fucking wallet. Now you ask yourself, dude, why didn't you go back and get it from her? Because I didn't fucking remember how to get back there. I had no idea I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so that's what you get for being kind. Don't ever be kind to a woman. Because I swear to God, man, she had the biggest, the biggest fucking fake fucking smile 
and just a complete fucking backstab. My friend to this day wants to go jokingly, you know, obviously jokingly. He was so mad when I told him that story. He wanted to go across two two uh, states and slit her fucking throat. He says jokingly, obviously, but he that's how mad he is. And uh, man, I must have got ripped off. First of all, my ID that was a nightmare getting that back. And uh, I think it was about two hundred dollars cash in there because I had I actually Western had my father Western Union me a thousand dollars to get back because I was destitute in this coming back. I was basically I, the reason why I came back is I lost my job, and that's a whole other fucking story why I lost that job. I lost that job over a woman's spite, by the way. So there you go, you know, don't ever be kind to strangers. As a matter of fact, I was in the metro, the subway here in my city yesterday and this bum gets on the subway. You know how they get on the subway? And in middle of rush hour and they give a speech. Can I have everyone's attention please? And the guy, showed, he lifted up his lease and said I need five more dollars to, to get this lease so I can get in this apartment to get up off my feet. And of course everyone was just standing there like just dead silent with their head to the floor. And me as well, because I don't, me, I don't give charity to bums anymore because I just don't, man. I don't, like, get a fucking job. You know, and I've been robbed by homeless people too, so I have no, my compassion is very, very, it's, it's gone for homeless people. But what I couldn't believe, guys, is after, you know, he, no one gave him money. The, the subway was packed, so he turns around and he's, he looks towards the door. He's gonna, he's waiting for the subway to stop at the next stop. And he's talking to himself, going, basically shaking his head, going, no one will help me, no one will help me. And then all of a sudden, I saw this fucking 24-year-old four year old girl go, excuse me, here you go, sir. She actually gave him a $5 bill. I could not believe it that a woman gave this guy a $5 bill. And then, and then, I swear to God, guys, two other guys took her lead and gave the guy, you know, uh, a couple bucks. But I know why they did that, because, well, maybe they were compassionate, but they did that because they didn't want to be upstaged by a woman or, or maybe trying to impress her, because they were these two guys were part of her company as well. So anyways, I couldn't believe a woman did that. I could not believe it, okay? Because these bums, and this guy looked like a fucking crackhead, okay? And as a matter of fact, it's, he was very appreciative. Thank you, thank you, everybody, thank you. And, and, and until the bus hit the next the next, uh, until the subway hit the next stop and then everyone got out and I, and then I was curious, I said, is this guy gonna go on the fucking next train and pull the same shit? And sure as shit, man, he went right in that fucking next train and I watched him give that fucking same fucking speech, man. You gotta watch these fucking bums, man. They want their crack money, but whatever. That's a whole top of, of compassion. But my compassion for, for these people is wearing thin because I know the homeless person is a desperate person, especially if they're homeless because they're drugs and stuff like that. I got my car robbed by fucking crackheads. I got, I got robbed. Um, let me see, one, two, three times that I can think of. I got held up by a knife at a job I worked at, and uh, yeah, so it's four times that I can think of that I've been mugged or robbed because of these motherfuckers, man. And of course, yes, I am compassionate. I do feel compassion for them as well. But these two fucking, this story that I told you about this fucking bitch who fucking stole my wallet after I drove her across two fucking states and um, fed her and stuff like that. Spent two days. It was just, it's unbelievable, man. So my fucking generosity days are over. Okay, they're over. And you say, well, dude, you know, have some compassion. I do. But at the same time, I'm no fucking sucker. I'm no fucking sucker at this point. Never, and I, I've said this before, and I want to reiter reiterate, don't ever commit to a woman. Never, ever commit to a woman because they will monkey branch you f to the bigger, better deal faster than you can say fucking one, two, three, my friend. It's just their fucking nature. It's just their nature. They need more resources for the, for, for the homestead, for the cave to, to feed to their babies uh, at a primal level, and that's why they do it. I'm sure that's why they do it. Um, and at the very fucking least... You know, when you're around someone too much, you're going to get bored with each other. And that's just a recipe for a fucking disaster. The caring might be there, but the passive aggressiveness and the fucking tensions and the, and the, um, uh, what's, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the resentments will pile up and you're, you will be living a miserable existence, you know? And like I said, women are always looking for the bigger, better deal. Um, a nice little quote I just heard here from micro paradise entrance commenting on my last youtube um, video 
and it's a reference to one of my videos where I talk about women doing the resting bitch face and the duck lips when they do their take their selfies to look sexy. They have to do the duck lips to make their fucking uh, lips look a, look like a goddamn pussy. Um, he, Micro Paradise entrance says. Women are like ducks. As soon as you run out of bread, they fuck off. And no truer words were spoken, my friend. Fuck these bitches, okay? I don't hate women, but I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. And with my bad back, I shouldn't be throwing anybody. Anyways, guys, please like, please subscribe, please, please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, and please click the bell. As I said in the other video, my subscribers have it's basically died. I don't know why I'm getting no subs now. I don't know why. I have no idea. Cause I'm not doing anything differently. Maybe you guys are just sick of me, but whatever. Anyways, guys, take care. Live with passion. Follow your fucking dreams. Fake it till you make it. And go out there and kick fucking ass. Don't take shit from no one. Don't be a schmuck. And uh, just fucking pump and dump. Never committing to a woman. Okay, guys, take care. You guys are fucking kings. You're, you're, if you're a man, you're a fucking god right away. You're a fucking god. Take care, my friends.